Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to, how to automatically backup to SkyDrive using SyncToy. SkyDrive is a Microsoft Cloud Storage which can sync your devices similar to Dropbox. One of the major differences is that it comes integrated in the new versions of Microsoft Office, as you can see here. I can easily save this file to SkyDrive and be able to sync it with all my devices and also share it if you wish to do so. If you have a Hotmail account, MSN account or Live account, you can plug it in here. You don't have to create an account. I have already created my account. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. These are the default folders with the exception of this one here. And I have 7 gigs compared to Dropbox which is like 2 or 3. Unlike Dropbox, SkyDrive doesn't automatically create a folder inside your user profile folder. You see, you don't have one that says SkyDrive. We will have to download this. It's very easy. From the SkyDrive, just click on PC and then download SkyDrive for Windows. I'm going to go ahead and, and run this. yes to the user account control I'm gonna fast forward this perfect this tells you that it will sync your devices get started and now plug in your username and password again perfect now you can change the location of the folder but I'm gonna leave it in the default location and click on next here if I choose all files and folders on my SkyDrive. This means that all the files and folders that are currently on SkyDrive, I will bring them to my computer. Or you can choose folders, which folders to sync. It's up to you whether you want to uh, choose which one you want to sync. If you want to leave them all, it's okay. Once you're done, just click on Next. perfect and then done if I go to my user profile folder now I can see the SkyDrive folder is empty because in the installation I chose not to bring those folders to my computer perfect I have already installed SyncToy the link is in the description box below I'm gonna go ahead and run this and then create a new folder pair The left folder should be any folder you wish to back up to SkyDrive or any folder you wish to sync to SkyDrive. And the right folder should be the SkyDrive folder or any subfolder in SkyDrive. So I'm going to go ahead and browse for the folder that I wish to back up. My documents, for example. Okay. And now select the right folder. Remember, it can be the SkyDrive folder or a folder inside the SkyDrive. I'm gonna go here, SkyDrive, and then select the folder I just created. Perfect. And I can back up anything I want into that same folder. You can select whether it's synchronize, echo, or contribute. You can read what they do here on the on the right click on next once you decide and then name your folder pair perfect for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna do one again I'm gonna browse for a, a different folder I wish to back up and then the right folder the same SkyDrive folder inside the folder I just created perfect next same sync and name your folder pair pictures in this case finish perfect that's it once you have created the folder pair if you wish to run it you can do so it has completed it was really fast because I don't have any information there 
but we're going to create a automatic backup. So I'm using Windows 8 for this tutorial. From the Metro UI, just type schedule task. If you're using Windows 7, just search for task schedule. Click on settings, schedule task here. And now create basic task. Name. I'm going to name this sync toy. Um, automatic backup or something. In the description. Perfect. Next. I can choose whether I want it daily, weekly, monthly, etc. Once you decide, click on next. And you can select the start date, start time, and recurring one date. That's because previously we selected. Uh, every day. Start the program, leave it default, and then click on Next. Here, you need to browse for the SyncToy CMD.exe. It's usually in your Programs folder. Go ahead and browse for it. Go to Computer here, C Drive, Program File. SyncToy. And now look for SyncToy CMD. Double click. And it will automatically add the quotations at the end of the uh, location. And now here, add an argument, type minus R, and then click Next. Finish. And now, from now on, it will run automatically at the time and date specified. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.